Hello there everyone and no, thank you for joining me here in the start of a new campaign and of course you are playing as everyone's favorite commonwealth of New Maryland, but this is on a historical and we're doing patriation. We can no longer rely on a question for help, they have proven that they have no interest in her plight. The only hope for New Maryland is to seek our own path in the world. So, um, yeah, we get patriation which is pretty nice. Six patriation, thank you, thank you. Recognize Stalingrad. Oh boy, we're going communist. Equestria refuses to recognize Stalingrad as an independent nation. If we want our own freedom, we wouldn't be hypocritical. If we do not make friends with our fellow freedom-loving ponies. And then form a communist unions. So should we get more daily comm support as well. And daily autonomy gain too. In order to gain autonomy, we need to reduce our dependency on Equestria. By forming self-regulating worker unions, we can remove our industrial addiction to Equestrian goods while teaching our citizens the benefits of self-rule. Oh, Piccolini, oh boy. Um, uh, um, surely this will only reinforce the democratic ideals, actually. Because that one stopped us from doing the defense of Commonwealth. Uh, oh, no? Yes? National census, we can still do that one, which is good. Yeah, more than 20%. Okay, we'll do that one later. Kingfishers share our wealth programs. The former governor of Celestia, Kingfisher, outlined a share our wealth program in a speech on the radio today. It's just that no pony should hold an extreme amount of wealth compared to another and call for free education, and generous grants help support the poor. Understandably, this has proven to be extremely popular among the poor and middle classes. Even some natives have turned out to support them. With its rising popularity, uh, it's likely that will rise far within the government. We can learn from him. Yes, yes we could. Um, in the meantime, we have seven divisions. We can get some rubber here. We have 21 ships, which is not bad. We're training them right now as well, too, which is pretty decent. And we do have, like, a few planes. Like, seven? 20, 22 planes now. That we're training as well, which would be very, very good too. And the National Spears. We have Great Depression, which really sucks. We have Griffin Minorities, which... Don't get me started on minorities. A Question Overlord, which is god-awful. Especially that political power gain. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But in the meantime... Supremacists. We want to get more daily economy support, obviously. Gear, forge, ruby, they do we want. Um, however, I do want to get extra political power. Ooh, Lemon Zeal. That's pretty good. Uh, political power game would be really good. New Maryland recognizes Stalingrad. Juniper Montage. That would be good to get more political power that way. Um, anything else? This is, dude. Not bad. And with this as well, got more research speed. Thank you. Uh, unite the left. Even more daily comm support. That'd be pretty good. Now that the workers have chosen which faction they will lead them into the revolution, we must make sure that bridge the gap between those who still uh, doubt our leadership. Only United Front can stand against the other parties in the upcoming elections. Overthrowing the capitalists is surely more important than doctrinal differences. New trade unions, unions form. With recent recognition of Stalingrad, many ponies have flocked to the socialist ideals. Where trade unions were once few in between, now it appears that they're becoming all the rage. A petition has been presented to the government. By leading pol politicians and businesses, business owners, including Glad Main, demanding the government take action against these unions. However, Jetset feels that a move could currently be unlawful. Unions are good for the workers. And it's slowly growing, eventually bigger and bigger. Ooh. There's so many nations in Equestria War, I'm not even sure what to do. Each nation has like different paths you can take, I think so. What actually have around here? Iron Spear. Ooh, that's not worth it. More defense is probably what we really have to go for here. Organization would be good too. Infantry specials would be really good as well. That's not bad. Uh, speed is not bad. Transfer speed is okay. Artillery would be pretty nice. We'll probably go with infantry and probably more organization because, well, we have Wing Bardy to deal with and that's not going to be easy or fun to deal with, so. <clears throat> it is what it is, but still. National standards. Gotta have standards here, man. Gotta have some standards. And you're not the left. So get rid of that data harm support the first socialist conference. The Great Depression and the push for independence have awakened a leftist sentiment in the peoples of New Maryland. It's in these favorable times that the Communist Party of New Maryland holds its first conference. The Ponies and Griffins meet not in a fancy conference hall, but in an abandoned harbor warehouse. They show solidarity with the plight of the working class. As the conference progresses, three factions have formed which, with their own agenda, Lufty Star still leads the traditional wing of the party, advocating a form of communism not unlike the one Stalingrad has been practicing. The Equalist faction under Blueberry Frost has more extreme ideas about equality, arguing for society without money and class. The third faction have drafted their own charter in Mer called Maryland Socialism, or Marisoc for short. Shocked gasps and protests are heard as these points explain their ideas for a truly stable society. Capitalism, they argue, can only be defeated by removing the entire system and rebuilding it from the ground up. Introducing new structures of government and reordering society to suit the party's wishes. As the event comes to a close, the excited delegates all cast their vote on the vision for New Maryland they support. Marisoc, I, I've heard... So, I know one person wants to try that. We might as well try this path out, but... International Pariah. I'm not sure what this is like. We could try it. Why not? Wow, it's going up quite a bit every month, which is nice, which is awesome. 
So after this one, burn Celestia's Portraits. We're going to wait to do that one. Commons open food banks. The Socialist Alliance set, set forth an initiative to open food banks for the poor in many major cities. This initiative has been welcomed with open hooves, as ponies, even from the middle classes, flock to the banks to feed their starving families. However, some argue that this is not an act of kindness, but one of malice designed to undermine New Maryland society. They even argue that the communists shouldn't have any money at all for the food. Communists or not, this is a good idea. Industrial support funds, air base stuff, uh, land, uh, naval stuff, uh, section Z, that'd be pretty good to get. Um, I think here, oh, that's not bad, that's actually really good. Yeah, we definitely gotta get N Max Spirit. Now, what else do we have here? That's not bad. Griffin Affairs Act, Griffin Working Regulations, Force Griffin Conscription, Negotiate with the Griffin Clans. Well, maybe do a national census. The population of New Maryland has never been accurately determined. Up until this point, we do not we do may do with estimates and rough figures. They're doing a full consensus or census of the national population, listing every pony, every pony's birthday, occupation, etc., would benefit us greatly in administrative matters. Oh, thanks, guys. We'll take all the stuff you can give us while we leave. The Red March, factory workers, the unemployed, and the homeless took to the streets today of sunset, demanding the government to bring an end to our economic woes. Thousands of ponies marched up the Commonwealth Avenue to the Commonwealth Congress, only to stop peacefully in front of the police line. Several points were reported have given flowers to the police officers as they sang communist folk songs and chanted for change. We should make the world a better place, but purges among the left. While the communists and equalists are our allies, oh crap, against capitalism, they lack vision and give in to capitalist ideals as such as voting, equality, and free choice. They don't understand that this will merely give room for the old order to manifest again. Therefore, these concepts must be eliminated from pony consciousness. While maybe unsavory if the capitalist press gets word of it, we must take action against such kind of revolutionary ideas. Let me keep figures of other factions disappear and convince others to join us. It is too late for them to stop us now. The end of history waits. Let us unite the left and mold it in our image. Oh boy. And we need 150 for this Grand Galping Gala. That's nice. Like I said, I have no idea what's going to happen, so. Hopefully, it's a lot of fun stuff. And we're merely Dominion. What do you have? A bookworm. That's not bad. You have a theorist new during do book? Yes, please. Unite the left. National census. Do we have railway? Uh, resource extraction. That's not bad. Well, that's not bad either. Flare plan. That's not. Oh, that's okay. Alright. Economic recovery. Must have reduced Great Depression twice. I definitely want that. Um, I don't see a research slot there. No. This one definitely does. Oh, either one of these two do. It's nice. Grand Fleet. Alright. Yeah, okay. Oh. There's quite a few around here, but then again, these sounds we can't get to, so. The Homecoming. Oh, wait. These ones, yeah, we definitely cannot get to. Um. So, we have those. Well, these two we can't get to, which sucks, so. Definitely gotta get down here. Mm. Well, maybe expand. Oh, we can't even do that one. That's your support fund. Our industry is lacking many sectors, perhaps because of the current economic depression. Seeing a dedicated fund to help industrial development through strategic investment could prove to be a set in the right direction. More political power. Now, hopefully this pony stays with us. So now we get point eight, which is still not that great, but still. Uh, we'll go quarter hearts. Just start working on some army XP as well. So that'll be really good. Because it's going down quite a bit every day. Wow, minus point one three. That's pretty intense. And I would like to get a partial mobilization, but has complete focus for lockdown commitment. Okay. The coup. We are ready to our militias and have secured the loyalty of many officials, reporters, and police officers. We've eliminated those provoking a clash. Uh -uh. Uh, who caught one of our exploits might understand a glimpse of what we were truly planning. The town's ready to see the future. It's time for Mayor Sock to rise. We'll bring order, new order to chaos so that no pony will ever think wrong thoughts, wrong thoughts again. Oh, crap. Adds anarchy. Oh. Mayor Sock. New speak term that stands for Marylander Socialism, which gives a party its name. The other name for their ideology is oligarchical collectivism. 
The two aims of Mayor Sokka are to bring the revolution to the people and to destroy the capitalists and foreigners who wish to oppress him. The two aims of Mayor Sokka are the complete and political domination of the populace and pursuit of power for its own sake. War is peace. Freedom is slavery. Ignorance is strength. Taking sides, chaos is rocked in Equestria. As Princess Luna engaged in reforms for bat pony rights, was injured in a terrorist bombing, provoking a clash between the reactionary and progressive forces in the streets of Manhattan. Princess Luna is taken to the airways, saying that their sisters got mad, plotting against bat pony equality, and that Luna has seceded, preparing to fight for bat pony equality and to stop the madness of her sister. Celestia has not responded directly, but the Candlelight administration has claimed that Night Moon, Nightmare Moon has returned and that they need every available point to defend Harmony who should support. You can join them. Civilians in Equestria, Luna is right. Uh, it's not a war to fight, yeah. Yeah. What the heck happened? How'd you get this one? How did this happen? Um, can we see what cho pass they chose? I don't know, I don't know. Like, I don't understand how, like, you can get these different ways here. So that's your resistance war of two sisters. That's cool. Yeah, if you can let me know how to get this one, this path for the Lunar Empire, let me know, because I'll do it sometime. Oh, so that's a completely different focus, you know. Entrenched Revolution. We've successfully overthrown the corrupt and capitalist regime of the old, but our grasp on the nation continues the best. Reforms must begin, which will restore order and ensure our total control of all. Oh, crap. Merlandia. As it should be. Oh, there goes our political power. Holy crap. <clears throat> they creep south, collectivize the economy, reduce effects of anarchy. That's not bad. The Great Purge. Those who are threats. To oh, shnikes. Uh, reduce effects of purge. Add the purge. Oh, shnikes. Um, reclass the population. All societies across the world, throughout history, have been divided into three groups the high, middle, and low. Our society, too, will have. Such a structure, the inner party will be high, the outer party will be the middle, and the proletariat will be the low. The new meritocratic order must be entrenched permanently. Very cool. Still the Great Depression, though. Minorities, anarchy. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. I love that flag so much. Nivis? Do you have any focus tree? Maybe, yeah, holy crap. Disciplines of the night. Disciples of the night, I mean. Whoa. Revolutionary Syndicalism. Atslan Free State. Celestial State. Daring Do? Oh, Daring Do. Oh, I figure. Collective as the economy. The markets are our markets. We must have root capitalism from our nation and burn to the ashes. The party will own everything. Foreign trade must end too. Any inter interaction with those outside our nation will be punished by death. We can't have any influence entering the minds of our citizens that isn't strictly author authorized by the state itself. Nice. Very nice. Any extra planes? Naval Bomber 2s? Do we actually have factories for that? The counter revolution. A military coup has occurred against Mersok by those soldiers we deemed uh, loyal. Clearly, not every point is under effect yet. These rebels that led, are led by General Kennedy Garden. There seems to be a collection of all who oppose us. This includes Democrats, other communists, and even fascists. Marisak is under attack. All opponents must defend the new state. Oh, crap. So now we have a civil war. Was not expecting that. The Prolo, Prolo Garde. Alright, so be it. Steel Bell. Actually, that's probably pretty good for us. Civil War New Maryland to victory. Actually, do they even need focus tree? Candy Garden. For Celestia. Huh. Get over that river, son. Can you just sneak around them, maybe? No, god dang it, that's so close. Oh, don't tell me that we have to fight those two. Oh, them attack us like crazy. Get over there. And you can probably stop doing that and just do this instead. New Admiral. Orange Tide. Mm, Alright, not bad. Alright, can we concentrate our forces here, maybe? Maybe not? Nope. Alright. So they're gonna have to attack us then. 
Well, you wanted the Civil War, so what am I supposed to do about that? Head on down there if you can. Send Pegasus over too. Set up a complexes. There we go. Alright. Force rate. Some of that too. Oh, they're forcing this. Oh, they really want to kill us off, don't they? The class population would be good. And collectivize economy. Followed up with. Okay, purge. <clears throat> No one can be trusted, not even those within the party. We must vaporize those who could threaten the revolution before they cause any issues. The celestial loyalists, the capitalists, and those who are too intelligent. Any mentions of their names will be removed from all the records, or likely be likely that they never existed in the first place. Should be able to hold out with that much, right? A little bit ahead of time, grab some of that. I do not want to have to use like force defense or anything like that, but we'll see. Good Marshal. Feather Trot. He's getting someone else in here would be very good for us. Fold out. 42, 43, 42, 43, 42. Don't repair. 44 is not bad. So it's slowly going down too, though, but let them attack us. Oh, we're out of pointy power too, which is not good. There you go. Did they just redouble their efforts on forced attack? They lost about a thousand, but they've lost quite a few as well. <clears throat> Since their staff has been elected, 43. Yeah. Okay. Are we supposed to be able to win this war or not? Because it doesn't seem like we'll really be able to. How many divisions do they have? You should honestly be able to win here. That's so stupid that we can't, though. I don't understand why. They're really hurting themselves right here, though. That's good. You can see that at least. Two, 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 two. Another attack in there as well. Oh, boy. Get back in there. Your purge, good. Got more factories, hopefully. More trucks. Uh, anti air's okay. Yeah, this is stupid. How do they get max strength? I don't think this is very balanced, to be honest. Like, very balanced at all. Because they have just as many divisions, right? So we have 18. They have, they have... They might have more than us. And our divisions are, like, half strength. So that's pretty... That's not very fair at all. So if we can't win with using Force Defense, then... I have to say this is completely unbalanced. And we're going to use God's Commands. But Big Sister's watching you. To embody the party in his values, the individual is needed. The person will be the public face of the party. For emotions of love and fear are more easily focused on a single relatable pony. Her face will soon be displayed across the nation, with posters plastered on every wall with the slogan, Big Sister is watching you. Nice. I just don't understand how we're supposed to be able to win here. There's a republic. No, you ding dong, go this way. Keep on holding out for now. <clears throat> Changing slay millennia, pretty normal. I wouldn't mind getting more war propaganda, maybe, but at the same time, artillery wouldn't really help out that much. Getting more organization would be really good, though. Of course, they refuse to yield. Pretty normal. Give me you. They're getting any sleep. Same day. Oh, that's going to really hurt us.
flip. Flippy fathers. You have to force a fence. Oh, another taking down or two. Come on, man. You just gotta wait. Because this is almost impossible to do right now. Ignorance and strength, poverty, prosperity, wars, peace. Oh, anything for defense? I mean, come on. We need more than this. Expulse the Griffins, huh? Remove Griffin minorities. Thought police? Double speak. Pearl feed? That's not bad. New speak. Okay. Hmm. War rationing, wow. War com. Okay. Military reborn. Yeah, we're gonna go with War of Peace. The so, Ministry of Peace will be responsible for maintaining a state of perpetual war forever. As well, they were strong enough to survive, yet not too strong to enter war too quickly. Constant war preserves a special mental atmosphere with the hierarchical society needs. Yeah, I'm sorry, but this is this is broken. We can't do this, so I'm going to do some consequences to make sure we don't completely lose. All right, everyone. So we had to retreat from the front lines a little bit. I converted one of our uh, militia divisions into this division, on whose division, which is actually pretty decent already, but we're missing quite a bit of equipment here still. Um, yeah, I don't like this war. This uh, coup is not very fun, but we've done Marisok officers. Prior to Marisok's coup, many officers remained loyal to such abhorrent things such as democracy and equestria. Now, those officers never existed. New ones are needed to restore order in the leaderless army. Promising an orthodox party, members will thus be rewarded with boys, positions of command in the military, and ignorance is strength. Who controls the past controls the future. Who controls the present controls the past. As long as the party retains control of the past, truth is whatever the party wants it to be. If we say that black is white, then everyone must say that it is so, and believe that it is so, and know that the black has always been white, and near Melandia, tis for thee. It's a patriotic duty of every party member and parole to safeguard the country from counter-revolutionary aggression and despicable foreigners. Military training will be mandatory, and every pony must be ready to serve in the army if needed, because, well... It, it's needed. Nice. We lost 24,000. We killed 22,000, which is not honestly really good for us, but whatever. Um, and then we're going to go to the military reform. The old army of New Maryland has been molded in our image. Heretics have been called and discipline restored. Every soldier is willing to die for Big Sister. This is an embryo of a mighty army that will one day crush all, all of our rivals and enemies. I'm not fighting the Crystal Empire. I will peace out with them if I have to. I, I refuse to fight them, so. I, I don't understand. They wanted a coup, and yet they stopped attacking. Why did they stop attacking? Just can't win here, can we? But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and grab uh, this one. More political power is just what I want. Daily compliance gain is also very good as well. And down here, these guys are all okay. I mean, these are not great. They're not bad. Uniform designs are okay. More daily army XP would be really nice. But we'll grab mini packs. More attack. And now we can choose mini plenty, which is pretty good. Or mini love. It's not bad. That really helps with damage garrison, so. We'll see. Military born would be really good to get next, so. I mean, I want to attack, don't get me wrong, but. His bro guards, yeah, really suck. So these are the two divisions we've made. Where are they at? They're right here. So you actually might be able to attack right there, maybe. Uh, put you both right here. It's just that we don't have any. We don't have anything. That's just so dumb. I really don't like this. And they refuse to attack us, so I'm going to need a couple more divi divisions. Um, focuses and see what we can do. Uh, new Army of New Maryland, uh, Wave of Flesh, ass, ass, add mass combat. Oh, we go mass assault doctrine, huh? Which I don't think we really do mass production would not be bad. Hurts our reliability, though. Unrestricted experimentation. Well, we probably should go down that way. Get more political power that way. Eh, military born, of course. But, the new Army of Marylandia. An army loyal to the whims of the party is the only way to truly hold territory gained and to defend Marisok against external threats. The task is to ensure war can be maintained for as long as possible in a waste surplus production of warfare. Technology or death. Technological progress is only allowed to happen when innovations can be used for oppression or conquest. Improved rifles and heavy guns contribute to the latter and strengthen our army. Such innovations must be encouraged, for they will eventually allow Marisok to overcome all its enemies. Marylandia is indestructible. Already, no ponies allowed across the border. It must be fortified even further in preparation for enemy aggression. Thousands of workers shall labor ceaselessly to do the death of Nibi, to turn a nation into an unassailable, invincible fortress. Nothing can threaten the rule of Marisok, a wave of flesh. Marylandia is weak and small. If we wish to accomplish a goal of total world conquest, we must become strong. Our army must rival that of our neighbors, a spider lesser population and industry. We'll force to conscript as many ponies as we need to drown our enemies in the blood of our soldiers. 
I'm not sure that's really good to get. And we get more population, which is good, but I don't think we're going to go mass assault, mass production. Our armies is always in need of more tool to slaughter. The pro shall be sent to the arms factories to labor ceaselessly and fill the production quotas. Sacrifice will have to be made in regards to quality, but several soldiers dying from the malfunctioning weaponry is an acceptable loss and unrestricted experimentation. And the Merlandia science, in the old sense, has almost ceased to exist. Eth methods of empiricism and rationality, which contradict the principles of Mersock, are only applied when necessary, such as the development of new weapons. As morality is whatever the party wants it to be, this research can now be un Shack. Well, everyone, we're here now in January 1010, and I'll be honest, I don't like the Civil War at all. This is a very, very, very unfun Civil War. It's just so boring. There's nothing you can do. The enemy doesn't attack you until they're like completely overpowered. So I cannot recommend this path, especially with the whole coup here, because it's just it's, it's boring. It's not fun at all. I really do not think this is very great. I mean, it's, it's made okay-ish. Just, it's just not fun. It's really just not fun, and that's something I don't like at all about this. It's just not fun, which is... The one thing you want when you want to play a game like this, so... I just can't recommend this right now. It's just not fun. It's just not fun at all. This is very, very annoying. This That's basically all this boils down to. Super annoying. I don't know why these guys are so overpowered, though. They shouldn't be. We can't do anything against them, so... I just don't understand. Come on. So stupid. So incredibly stupid. I just want to end this war. I mean, this, this just has been... I've been doing this for like four, half an hour to 45 minutes off screen. It's just not fun. I cannot recommend this to anybody. Because it's just not fun. Why, why, would, why would I recommend this to anybody? I mean, the couch are ridiculous. 52,000 versus 77,000? Come on. It's, this, it, it was, it's not worth it. It's not having a civil war here. It's just not. It's so not good. Our brave volunteers have accomplished what was already inevitable. The ideals of mere soccer victorious against counter revolutionaries, so instead of ours and the oppressed workers cheer their liberators on, the Ministry of Plenty has set it on double chocolate rations to celebrate the joyous occasion. Weren't rations half half of the week ago? So yeah, it's it, it's not worth it. Don't don't rec I do not recommend it. I mean I had to use cons commands. It was you can't hold. You couldn't do anything. <laughs> if you didn't use cons commands, I would we would have lost a long time ago, so. At least we're still at peace for now, but it's, just, it's not worth it. I, I cannot recommend this. I really cannot recommend this at all. Which is really disappointing because Equestria War is a really good mod, but... This needs more rebalancing. It really needs more rebalancing because it's just not fun. It's just not fun. And what else are we supposed to... Is that all we're supposed to do here? Oh, we have a big sister here, which is nice. But seriously, might be it. Seriously, is, that, is this it? Are we supposed to take that long with the Civil War and just do nothing else? Maybe. Um... We at least got that one done. Minis Poverty is prosperity. The Ministry of Planning, the Ministry is responsible most not only for agriculture, but also for manufacturing goods the mass may think they want. And for goods that we all know we will need. A loyal group of ponies dedicated to ensuring numbers are met and that the populace is kept in a permanent state of absolute poverty. Alright, well, whatever. I mean, after this whole civil war, I'm just not interested in playing this now. <laughs> it, it just lasted way too long. What is this? No. No. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm going to do a lot of cons commands for this. I am not going to do this. No, I, I refuse to do this. Are you kidding me? This is not fun. Why is it designed like this to not be fun? If they, go to, if they literally go to war with us, then I'll, I'll have to use cons commands. Again. If I have to constantly use cons commands, you know it's not fun. It's not good that we have to constantly use cons commands. Um, i like more stability possible. Operation surprise attack on Aquilia. I guess we can do that one eventually, but we have that to go into there. Um, Lingbardi, Toulouse. I was gonna wait to go to total mobilization for that one, but Fitz gun. We're gonna need you out immediately. Um, please and thank you. Why are there supply issues here? Why?
Well, you know, let's save, and I guess we'll do a couple more focuses off screen. If they go to war with us, then I'll make sure that they don't. But honestly, this is taking too long. I mean, this is just not well made. War rationing? The populace believes us to be at war, and we are. We are at war with the system of capitalism. This permanent state of emergency means resources must be redirected away from the centers of civilian consumption into what is a vital war economy. The records, of course, will state that the rations have, been, in fact, been increased. Those who say this isn't true, what we accuse of committing thought crimes. Command economy. Many plenty must have complete and total control of our economy. It's your duty to impose quotas on the hordes of proles so they can produce an excessive amount of bullets, guns, rockets, tanks, and more. By forcing the populace to spend most of their time working, they won't have the leisure time that can potentially be used for thought crimes. And forced destitution. We cannot allow the proles to have any wealth or, uh, access to the means of production. If they're kept in a state of abject poverty, they will rely on the party for survival and cannot afford education. A poor, reliant, or ignorant populace is far easier to dominate after all. Thus, we will repurpose facilities used for civilian production into military use. State lotteries. Mayor Saw can afford to give the proles a sliver of false hope. To improve their morale and provide us funding, national lotteries will be regularly held, promising huge prizes for the, for the participants. However, no awards will ever be given to anybody. The Ministry of Truth will, of course, publish news about lottery winners, but they will not be real. Those who win is a big sister. And long live and prosper. And reports claim production is ever increasing. In truth, it is ever decreasing in every sector except the military one. Reports claim that rations are increased, quotas suppressed, that each generation of Marylandians is more prosperous and healthy than the last, and it is all lies, of course, and the only ones enjoying wine and chocolate are inner party members. A normal day, after 16 hours of work at the munitions factory, Light Sky headed towards her home. She was wearing nothing except gray rags, or only pieces of clothing which barely covered her emaciated form. Wearily, she walked along the cracked and unmaintained streets as the sun set, having no public transport or personal vehicle to use. She walked past a band of known robbers and drug dealers, and who glanced at her and ignored her, seeing how poor she was. After an hour, Light Sky finally arrived at her shack, nestled in the vast slums surrounding Sunset. She remembered living in an apartment once, but those were now reserved for party members only. She hoped her cult could one day pass examinations and join the esteemed ranks of Mayor Sock and live a better life than her. That foal came to meet her and immediately demanded food. He was hungry, though he had more of the fat and muscle around his bones than she did. She nodded and went to the kitchen section of the room. There was no other rooms in the shack. She rummaged through the creaky cupboard next to the rusty stove and managed to find some stale, moldy bread in the corner. She then used a metal shard she had stolen from the factory like a knife to cut off the moldy bits and split the loaf in half, but when she offered one half to her full, she, he was unhappy and stomped the floor with his hooves, ordering her to give, her, the, give him the other loaf as well, or else he'd report the, her theft of the piece of metal to the Ministry of Love. She complied without resistance. He had another day without food, but it was worth it as long as her son would live. So that's just a pathetic laugh of a disgusting prol. Replace Great Depression, which hurts us. Good yeah. So now we have quotas, unrestricted experimentation, mass production, mass combat, which is not bad for us, officer loyalty tests, and Griffin minority still, and we're trying to alter the past. The past exists only in memory records, both are immutable. Are mutable. Therefore, Marylandia has always been called Marylandia, and it was never a colony. There's no place called Maryland in the world. We have always been at war with Equestria. All of this is truth, and everything that contradicts truth must be rectified or erased. The party is infallible. Introduce Newspeak. Language is the foundation of thought. If we want to prevent heretical thoughts, we then must clearly modify the language. It will be simplified, its vocabulary greatly reduced, and any nuance or innuendo made impossible. Everywhere will have only one meaning, and if that meaning cannot be orthodox, then the world will be erased. The new language can be used without thinking. Prol feed. Like all cattle, proles require sustenance to remain content. Prolsec, a department of miniature, will provide them with plural feed, superficial entertainment that will also shape their worldview to our liking. Produce en masse with verificators and other such devices that will consist of newspapers, novelties, or novelettes, films, songs, and radio plays filled with nothing but of substance, nothing of substance, and hate campaigns. The low quality of life and our harsh rule makes citizens subconsciously frustrated and angry. However, this emotion can be directed at our foes, both existent and non-existent, away from Airsock. By dedicating two minutes each day and one week a year to hate, we can allow the citizens to vent their bottled up anger. They'll learn to despise the enemies of the state and double think. Double th think as a refined art of having two contradictory beliefs simultaneously, yet genuinely thinking both of them are true, yet it's not simply the control of one's beliefs, but also the mastery of one's memories and the ability of unconscious thought. While newspeak is the method for controlling the mind through language, double think is the method of directly controlling the mind. But I think the only way we can actually do this campaign is if we use more constant commands, because there's no way in the world we can even try to take on the Carthaginian pack with four divisions. Which I think is pretty crap. But maybe that's just me. So we'll have to use cons commands to push forward and do better in the future. But if you enjoyed the video regardless, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow when we will continue with Big Sister in dominating as much as we possibly can without dying. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.